Uh, so in this one, I want to show you all how to pull a list that's a little bit niche. You know, not a lot of people are actively chasing these types of deals. What's going on, guys? It's your man, Ed Hayes, the Wholesale Coach here, back for another video. And in this video, I'm going to be going into PropStream and showing you all 10 lists that you need to go in and pull right away and how to actually pull those leads inside of PropStream, guys. So I hope that you all are pumped for this content. Go ahead, hit that like button for me now. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here, guys. And let's go ahead. Let's get into it. Get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going. I get to it out the road. I'm sure that most of you all who are going to check out this video, you probably already have an account or maybe you're thinking about grabbing one. If not, if you don't have one already, go ahead, use the link in the description of this video to get started. Now let's go ahead. Let me go ahead and log into my account. So you're going to start off by selecting the area. Um, and then, so what I'm going to give you all first is my favorite list to pull. Like if you've checked out my channel for quite some time, you've probably heard me state this list like a bunch of different times. But trust me, it's for a reason, y'all. It gets the job done basically every single time nation. Why, guys? So let me give you all my first favorite list to pull, which is going to be a vacant high equity absentee owners list. And there's some additional filters as well. So let's go ahead. Let's get into it. All right. So to get the vacant high equity absentee owners list, you're going to click on this little filter section right here. You're going to go ahead and say that it's not owner occupied. You're going to say that it's vacant. The property characteristics, I would say just residential properties. You can go in and change these property types as well. But I've noticed that in some areas such as Chicago, um, like their multifamilies very often don't come up as just like a multifamily two to four or multifamily five plus in Chicago. The uh, multifamilies come up as apartments generic, and that's a lot of the apartments out there. So if you didn't have that selected, you would end up missing out on a ton of really, really great opportunities out in Chicago. So I'm not going to mess with the property types. I'm just going to make sure that it's only residential. A lot of times I will exclude HOAs as well, just because it's extra stipulations. People have to do additional things to actually be able to sell and buy HOA properties. So in this example, I actually am going to go ahead and exclude the HOAs. Then from there, we're going to make sure that these properties are not on the market. So we're going to say no to on the market. Then from there, we're going to go to the ownership info. And usually what I'm going to do is that I'm going to require that these leads um, that the people have owned these properties for at least 10 years. All right. And then next, I'm also going to make the owner type individual. You want to make sure that you do that. If you don't do individuals, you will get um, LLCs and trust and things of that nature that you typically cannot get skip traced from a regular skip tracing service like a prop stream or a batch skip tracing and stuff like that. Very often they don't have LLC information. So then from there, we're going to go ahead and go to the valuation and equity information. And usually what I want to do is I want to cap the value, the estimated value of these properties at about three hundred thousand dollars. I've noticed that the sweet spot seems to be about one hundred and fifty to a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar ARV. That's usually where the most people are saying uh, yes. Now it can be a little bit lower. Um, typically it's not on the higher end, but like we're going to just max it out at $300,000. And you see our list over here is starting to shorten up. All right. It's getting smaller and smaller over time as we're going on. So also when it comes to the equity, so I'll go with this estimated equity percentage and I'll say a minimum estimated equity percentage of 45%. Boom. So then from there, I mean, this is pretty much the list right here. So this is like my favorite list that I've historically pulled nationwide 
this list does not miss y'all actually i want to give you all a real quick tip when you're pulling these lists from prop stream so let's say for instance you're doing some virtual wholesaling and you not only want this list in chicago but maybe you want to get it for the entire county of cook county like you don't have to go back through and put in all of those filters for this different area you can literally just type in the next zip code and keep it moving all right so for this second list guys i'm going to show you all how to pull a list of out-of-state owners that are likely to want to sell all right so let's go ahead and remove our filters from the last search and we're just going to go back to cook county actually because I, I like the amount of people that was on that list so let's go ahead let's start off with our filters now pretty much what we're going to be looking for are out-of-state owners who have owned the property for at least 10 years and have high equity all right so we're going to say it's going to be non-owner occupied because they don't live there. They're out of state owners. We're going to say ownership information, which they're going to do individuals. And then we're going to say absentee owner location as out of state. Boom. So you see on the prop stream list, we still have over 23,000 leads available to us in that scenario. So we're also going to say they've owned it for at least 10 years. So we're going to say uh, the estimated value is no more than 300,000. Um, and we're going to say that they have at least 45% equity. Once again, years of ownership, we're going to say they've owned it for at least 10 years and they live out of state. And this property is vacant. We want to say that it's vacant as well, just with the amount of leads that's left. The more stacking that you can do on your list, usually the better, um, the better results you're usually going to get when you're when you're pulling these leads. So we're going to say that it's vacant as well. Let's see. Ooh, that only brings us down to 168. So <laughs> maybe we'll just bring that back to any in that scenario. We'll go ahead and bring the property classifications to residential. We'll say that it's not on the market. So some things are going to be pretty static. Every single time I pull a list, I'm going to make sure that it's not on the market. I'm going to make sure that I say individuals only. And I'm usually going to make sure that the estimated value of that property is no more than three hundred thousand dollars. And I'm also always going to have residential properties only. So those are just kind of like a few things that stay pretty stagnant no matter what list you're pulling for prop stream. All right. So that's how you pull a list of out of state owners with high equity that are going to be likely to actually want to sell their properties. Now, let's get on to the next list. Now, this next list right here is is really was like a kind of like a game changer type of thing that they put into the prop stream system so we can get this information and what they're called are zombie properties. All right. So a zombie property is basically a vacant pre foreclosure. All right. So let me go ahead and show you all how to get this list. It's actually extremely simple on how to get this list. And you may want to add some additional filters as well. But basically, you go to this quick list choices section right here and you're just going to go down to zombie properties and click on it. Bang. Simple as that. There are 454 zombie properties in Cook County, Illinois right now. Now, you may just want to take this entire list or you may want to go ahead and add some additional filters onto the property. So this these are just vacant pre foreclosures. Now, what you could do, what you may want to do is go ahead and just say, hey, look, just give me the individuals. I know that there's probably going to be some corporate uh, situations. Boom. You see, we took over 100 people. If you had to skip trace all of those LLCs, you would have wasted a decent amount of money right there. Okay. So there's some filters that you're going to want to put in, such as the, even like this um, equity information. I'm going to go ahead and say that the estimated value is 300K or less. So I'm not working with these half a million, $1.2 million properties uh, and stuff like that or whatever. And then I'm also going to say that it is a residential type of property and that it is not on the market. So, like I said, some of these things are going to stay pretty static no matter what. So now I'm left with 281 leads. I will probably go ahead and pull this particular zombie property list. Now let's get to the next one. All right. So the next list that you need to pull right away inside of PropStream is going to be the utility and tax lien lists inside of PropStream. So let's go ahead. Let's get into it. All right. So once again, you know, some things are going to remain static. We don't want properties that are on the market. We only look for residential properties. We want these properties to be 300K or less. And we want these people to be individuals. All right. So some things are always going to stay the same no matter what. All right. So keep that in mind. 300K or less. Bang. And now to get these utility liens, what we're going to do is this. 
we're going to go over here to the lien slash bankruptcy slash divorce status section. And then we're going to choose a specific lien type as tax lien. And we can also do the utility lane, but you may want to do one list or the other. As you can see right here, guys, we've got like over almost 11,000 people with tax lanes in Cook County, Illinois. All right. If we add the utility liens on top of that, which is like the water shut off list and things of that nature, it goes up to about 11,000. So, so yeah, I mean, so, but like with a list this size, you know, obviously if you have the 10,000 quota on prop stream, this is going to be a little bit too much. So one thing that I would probably do is I would say, okay, let's see what what it looks like if i just say vacant properties that looks a lot more reasonable with about 1135 properties when i say that they're vacant so now it's vacant tax and utility lane properties that are worth 300k or less not on the market residential properties only great list to start pulling right away guys let's see how many people you have on this list in your area all right guys so this next list is actually not even a list of sellers it's one of the best ways to come across a great list of cash buyers. So let's go ahead. Let's get into it. All right. So right. Once again, we're going to go to this quick list choices section over here. And we're just going to look for the flippers category. All right. So these are people who purchased a property at a low cost and then flipped that property within a short period of time and sold it for more. All right. So in Cook County, Illinois, PropStream has 1,324 flippers on the list, right? So there's additional information that you could put in as well, right? I would probably go ahead and do the individuals only for sure. So that's going to slim down half of our list off the rip, as you can imagine, since these people are cash buyers. All right. Now, if you all have a software or a service or, you know, some type of system to where you can get these LLCs information, you could check out a site like opencorporates.com. You may have to do this manually or hire someone on like a Fiverr to do it for you, but you can pull, you can get the LLC information as well like you can leave it on your list and just pay someone off of like a fiverr to go on to opencorporates.com and get that contact information from the cash buyers um, using open corporates so these are cash buyers basically so we don't even need to say like whether the property is on the market or not all of that stuff is basically irrelevant all we really need them to be is a flipper in our reality so like but if you want to kind of want to save your skip tracing dollars if the service that you're using is still going to charge you regardless of whether it actually gets you the lead or not then you probably want to go ahead and just go with the um just go with the individuals only but there you go that's how you pull the flippers list so you can get you a great list of cash buyers who are actively purchasing properties in your area all right guys so in this one i want to show you all how to pull a list that's a little bit niche. You know, not a lot of people are actively chasing these types of deals. And that's basically reaching out to failed listings that were on the market for 90 days plus and listed below market value. So let me show you exactly how to go in and do that. Right. So first thing you want to do is go into this MLS status section and we want to go to MLS status and we want to say fail. Bang. So these are all the properties that failed. And then we're going to say listed below market price. Yes. Bang. We still have nearly 17,000 properties left. We're going to say minimum days on market 90 days. Bang. Now we're down to about 6,300 or so leads. So if you're an agent, this can be an amazing list to go after. But to be a billion percent honest, even if you aren't, these people have clearly shown that they want to sell their property and it, it failed, you know, like they weren't able to actually do it. And it was listed on the market for three months. They spent the quarter of a whole year trying to sell this property. This list can be an amazing list because you already know that they damn well want to sell their property. Otherwise, it wouldn't have failed. OK, so obviously, once again, we'll want to go in make sure that the property um, is only worth 300k or less you know we want to say that it, these are individual owners and that they're residential properties as always guys so boom individuals <clears throat> excuse me and in this scenario if you wanted to you can also put in like the years of ownership 
um, just so you know that they kind of have like a decent amount of equity up in there or you could just go ahead and go to the estimated equity percentage still as like 45 percent so you, you're still left with 1900 properties yeah i would probably go ahead and just pull this list just like this i don't think that there's anything else that i would take off of this this is how you go in and pull yourself a list of failed listings that were on the market for 90 days plus just think about how much motivation there's going to be on that list don't get me wrong though keep this in mind guys a lot of people try to pull that particular list a lot of agents are reaching out to failed listings all the time however some of these people are fed up with agents some of these people are just like hey look just make me an offer i just want to get rid of this place some places like maybe the property failed a long time ago and they kind of forgot about it you end up calling them like actually yeah i really do want to uh, sell this property i'm not trying to list it with no agents that last person screwed me over but i'll gladly work with you so in this scenario if you're a wholesaler you actually may have a hand up above your agent competitors so great list to pull guys all right so the next list that i want to show you all how to pull is gonna be the tired landlords list all right so it's nice and simple inside of prop stream to be able to pull this list we're still going to put our additional filters on but you're going to go to this quick list choices section one more time they've got a lot of great uh things in here that you can a lot of great lists not all of which we're going to be talking about today or whatever but they've got some really great lists we're just going to slide down to the tired landlords list all right so in illinois we've got nearly a quarter million tired landlords lord have mercy lord have mercy that's that's a lot right there all right so we're just gonna bring it down we're gonna slim this list down nice and smooth we're gonna say residential properties only we're gonna say no that they are not on the market Right. We're going to go ahead and say that these are individuals only, as always. And to be 100% honest with you, uh, we're also going to say that they own for at least 10 years, to be honest, since the list is still extremely massive, it's nearly 100,000 people still. Then we're going to make the estimated value for 300k less, as always, and we're going to say that the estimated equity percentage is 45%. And I still got 19,000 people left. I would probably say no to owner occupied. So, you know, it's just like a rental property. And then I would probably also say that it's vacant. So if it's vacant, non owner occupied, boom. 872 properties is what were left however that was a, a really dramatic drop so it may be some other filters that i may change before putting in the vacant filter or whatever but either way i think that this uh, will help you all out and this is how you pull the tired landlords list all right so next i'm actually going to give you all a two for one in this one and that's going to be the bankruptcy and divorce lists i'm just going to show you all really really quickly how to get to those um, basically you go right up here to this quick list choices once again um, and then boom you just click bankruptcy easy peasy you don't even have to think about it that hard next for the divorce boom right below bankruptcy is divorce all you got to do is just click on the list boom you right there now where you would typically find this inside of the system would be right here in this lien slash bankruptcy slash divorce status and you could just go to quick target status and just click one of these right here has an active lien that's another list you could just pull right there bankruptcy or divorce or you could say that the lien was released or the bankruptcy was released all right so boom that's how you do it i'm not going to put in the rest of the filters and show you all of that on these particular lists or whatever i think that you all get it by this point in the video so the 10th list guys then this this is one that you know is is kind of like a fan favorite a lot of people have you know begun to pull these leads since prompt stream recently added them into the system and that's going to be those pre-probate leads deceased owners basically so to get the pre-probate leads we're just going to click on this quick list choices all the way down at the bottom is going to be pre probate leads all right so in cook county illinois once again we've got nearly twenty four thousand people so like i said once you start to add in all of the additional filters you'll likely have a regular like decent size list to where it's not like ultra ultra crazy so uh, boom let's actually let's go ahead and put in these additional filters real quick and see what this pre-probate list is looking like out in cook county so after putting in the relevant filters for this particular list, we're left with about 3,000 something leads. So that's a decent sized list to be pulling from PropStream. Guys, so actually, so if you stayed up until this point, guys, I've actually got a bonus list to give you as well 
and that's going to be number 11, and that's going to be how to pull a luxury list. I was having a recent conversation um, with, with someone who booked a strategy session with me. Yes, that's right. You all can book a 90 minute strategy session with me using the link down below if you want to pick my brain and be able to ask some questions. Now, basically what that person stated is that they wanted to have a luxury brand. They said that they had a friend of theirs or someone that they knew that, you know, all they do is like multi-million dollar properties. Well, I told them, hey, you know, if you want to get into it, it's definitely possible and you can pull those leads directly from PropStream. So let me show you how I would go in and actually pull myself a luxury list. Boom. So first off, for it to be luxury, right, we've got to say that the estimated value of this property is pretty massive, right? So depending on your area, it may vary, but I would basically say show me all of the properties where this estimated equity is over 400,000. Well, the estimated value is over 400,000. And, you know, who knows? Maybe you want to do a million, you know, like maybe that makes more sense in your area. Maybe you live in Miami and there's tons of million dollar properties. Look, in Cook County, there's you know almost thirty seven thousand million dollar plus properties. Right. So that would be first things first. Make it worth a million at least. Then from there, we're going to go ahead and put in like our normal filters. All right. And then. All right. And then we're also going to say that maybe these properties are vacant as well. Let's see what we're left with. Look, 49 vacant million dollar properties in Cook County. I would probably go ahead and pull this list of 49 right here to be 100% honest. Look, this place is on free and clear, free and clear, free and clear. That's crazy. You know, so just know that, hey, look, some of these people may be looking to sell i mean i may reach out to some of these people myself you know what i'm saying y'all so <laughs> um either way though guys these are vacant million dollar luxury properties you can take out the the vacant aspect and you can maybe say that it's not owner occupied instead like maybe you do absentee owners steal 1379 absentee owner owned million dollar plus properties that's ridiculous guys so and you can definitely, um, you know, reach out to these individuals, pull these lists, guys. That's a niche list right there. I promise you, most people are not even considering targeting luxury types of homes. But if you know and have buyers who are looking for luxury homes, then guess who's going to be winning? You're in the money. You know, like you will be doing a lot of people's entire career as a wholesaler on like one to two deals in all reality. So anyway, man, I hope that this video helps, man. Like if it does, man, make sure that y'all hit that like button, man. I just really, really went into detail and gave y'all some of the best list and how to pull those lists directly from PropStream, guys. Like I said before, make sure that y'all you know, check out the links in the description of this video. Hit the link to grab PropStream if you haven't already. Also, guys, definitely check out my Wholesaler University course. I've got over 100 videos showing you step by step how to run your wholesaling business, including similar videos on how to pull lists from PropStream, how to put your leads into REI Reply, how to skip trace, so on and so forth, guys. Anyway, I think that's about it. I hope that you all are staying healthy and staying blessed. And until next time, guys, we are out.